Hey, we're back, and yeah, believe it or not, <laughs> look who I got with me again. <laughs> Teresa, uh, you know, we had the contest uh, going on, and we, I, f before Teresa announced the winners, I want to say we had so many, so yeah, many we uh, we had a lot of uh, entries. Uh, entries, and and we really appreciate that. So we're we're gonna start it off with announcing the winners, and uh, Teresa, the winner of the two shirts. Two shirts. We have uh, Bill B from Illinois, and Joanne Q from Alabama. Congratulations! I appreciate your entries uh, along with everybody else's. And for the two pictures, uh, Nancy M from Alabama, and Kathy M from Northern Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. Got one in there from Ireland. That's yeah. great. Yeah. All right, y'all, today we're going to uh, answer a few questions that's come in, and Teresa, I'll let you start with the first question. Okay, a lot of people have asked about that plane, that red jet that was parked in the Nevada desert for a long time, like, I guess, what, like 40 years or so. Yeah, we, um, we were actually watching uh, What in the World, a TV show, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, with his mom and daddy, and that episode came on. And so people are wondering if that jet really was Elvis's. Okay, and I, I, you know, we talked about it that night, and from what I'm understanding from from uh, Dad is and Mom is that uh, that Elvis did purchase the plane, uh, and I don't know who went to look at it or whatever, but anyway, it it wasn't what they presented it to be, uh, and he did not actually take ownership per, you know, have the plane or, 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 any, lying or, or no, anything like that. And, and I think it ended up uh, somehow or another, he ended up uh, getting his, his money back on it because it, it wasn't uh, what they presented to be. That's, that's from what, uh, from what I'm understanding. Okay. Which room at Grayson would Elvis spend the most of his time in? Oh God. I think we all know the answer to this. Uh, Elvis stayed in his bedroom a lot, uh, not just, you know, uh, sleeping. Uh, I, you know, when when people would come out, if, 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 if he'd want to see them or something, a lot of times he'd have them, you know, phone downstairs, have them come up or, or, or call them, you know, like like Dad. A lot of times just call him out when we lived out at the trailer and, and want him to come up. And, 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 of course, Mom, like I said, they, they just – they spent a whole lot of time up there, uh, you know, talking, carrying on, uh, uh, ha you know, having fun. I'm sure, you know, playing games and stuff like that. Uh, so that would be, in my opinion, from from what I've seen, uh, it would be his bedroom. Did Elvis have a softball team? Elvis, yes and no. Elvis did not have a softball team. Uh, the guys that work for Elvis and in, in, in the group, basically. Uh, they had a, a, a softball team. I, I know, and I, I'm probably going to forget a lot, but I'll name a few. I, I know uh, 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 Dr. Nick, uh, Dean, his son, uh, Dick Grobe, uh, Steve Smith, uh, of course, Daddy. Uh, and I, like I said, I know I'm, I'm probably leaving some out. Anyway, those guys would, would they had they didn't have, really have a name or anything, but they would play like uh, on tour. Uh, before Elvis would get up, they would find maybe like the closest park and they would go play like uh, play against some of the band members or, or some of the stage hands and, and uh, stuff like that. They did play uh, in Memphis. Uh, they played uh, then was a, a, uh, a big wrestler named Jerry Lawler, probably one of the biggest in Memphis at the time. And uh, he had a softball team called Lawler's Army. And somehow or another, they connected, and, and they played in Memphis. And uh, we actually went and watched it. It was a great game. Of course, of course Jerry Lawler went on uh, to be a, a big, big-time wrestler in, in, in the wrestling world, uh, as we know, and, and, and was really a, 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 a good guy. Uh, like Jerry, you know, during that time, you know, wrestling was a big thing, and I liked it. But, yeah, they uh, – they did have somewhat of a softball team, uh, and to answer that question, a lot of you may not know, and they, they would play, especially when they was on, on tour and stuff. They, they would try to take a break before Elvis got up and, and and go out and play and try to have some fun. And we posted a picture of you and Joey when you were little with him. Yes, with Jerry Lawler. On sure, your sure did. That actually, uh, Al, Al Strada was, was doing uh, some photography and stuff, so uh, that picture's on, it's on a button. Y'all seen it? it it's uh, it's Jerry Lawler, uh, Joey, and, and myself. Uh, 
that we we taken and and I'll also have a poster of that so mm -hmm. I'll never forget that. Um, what other things did y'all do at Graceland? At Graceland, we uh, well, let's go back to, to what we said. I know I remember uh, several times that we, you know, the group would get out there and and, and we would play uh, football, and uh, we'd just have one heck of a time. I mean, you, you know, just like you know, five on five, six on six, just whatever. And, and of course, no, you know, we didn't play tackling or nothing, but you know, we set up, we run more like touch and and and. And you know, and, like who was some and, of the ones playing? Oh, well, they, I mean, pretty much the whole group: Ricky, uh, Stanley, David Stanley. Uh, you know, Daddy when he, you know, wasn't up in Elvis's room with him, and uh, Dean Nicopolis, uh Dick. Uh, I, you know, I got to play. It just, you know, it, pretty much the whole, you know, whoever was, I don't know, you know on duty or out there at the time and we, we would do stuff like that uh, you know play play football and, and those are some great great memories i think you were going to tell a lisa story yeah i'll uh <clears throat> i've been asked about a couple of lisa stories so uh one time when lisa come she come out from california and uh one of the maids or housekeepers uh come with her and stayed up in her you know in her room and had a little had a little area in there and she had a refrigerator and and uh she drank beer so we uh we got to playing around one day and and got up in lisa's room got to messing around and you know of course like anything we uh we discovered the beer in the refrigerator and uh we decided that right it was in the refrigerator so <laughs> so we drank it so we uh we drank we drank a few cans of it and and uh never forget it just laughing and carrying on and stuff and lisa had i don't even know what it was but it was it was like a stick about this long and it was it was colored like a candy cane and it was wood and i i don't know why but she got to popping us with it and chasing us and, and we ended up you know from her room all the way downstairs down down in the basement and of course, down there we got pool sticks and we, you know was tapping her back and throwing pool balls and just carrying on. But that yeah, that was one of the probably another one of the greatest greatest memories I'll ever have. And Lisa just she loved being at Graceland. Uh, she loved her daddy. And uh, another another little story. Why we're just sitting here it comes to mind. I know one night we was at Graceland. We were playing and carrying on and. They decided, Elvis decided he wanted to go up and apply somewhere. I, I want to say Nashville or or somewhere back. It was a short short trip anyway with, with some of the group. And Lisa wanted to go. And, and during that time, you know, like I said, it was kind of business. And he, he, I guess, really just didn't want, you know, the kids to go that time. So we had to stay there. And I know uh, she, was, she was kind of upset about it. And we sat in the stairway with that goes down to the basement with all the mirrors and stuff on the walls. And you've ever been to Graceland, you know what I'm talking about. And we just sit in there and talk and she, she was a little upset and, and, and crying, but then, you know, she, she got over it and, and, uh, but she really loved any, any time that, that she could spend with, with her daddy that, you know, she loved doing it. She loved being out Graceland and, and, and spending it with us. And like I said, once again, that's, that's memories that, uh, I'll never forget. So. I want to say another thing about the contest. Um, so besides those who won the drawing, we're going to send out probably about 22 wristbands. So we're going to draw some names. So keep an eye out. Might be one of the 22. And I hope you don't mind me sharing this. This came from Elizabeth L. from Ohio. She had sent it with her entry. It's so cute. So I have to share it because it's yeah, hilarious. And, and, and let Tracy tell you what it, what it says. But I, okay. I thought it was, it just, it tickled me to death. Yeah, it, just, it, it says the hot dad the gorgeous wife, the twin, and the adopted brother. We always live Elvis. And I just have to share because it, it is so, it is so yeah, good. It's so cute. It's it 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 so cute. <laughs> thank you. That's awesome. We're yeah, going to put it in a frame. Thank the you. And, and too, I, you know, it's been said and can't say it enough for, for my Elvis family, you know. Uh, thank you for, for all the little little gifts and stuff that, that, that you give and, and, and send us. But just, hey, just, 
meeting and seeing y'all and, and, and y'all watching videos and sending your comments is, is plenty enough for us. But like I said, I, I just want to thank you for all, all the all the stuff that, that has been sent to us and, and, and we really appreciate it. Uh, love y'all to death. And before we get out of here, uh, in a couple days, we got uh, a special day coming up. It's Valentine's Day. And uh, if if you have a Valentine's, not just only that day, but every day you should, but, but let that person know how much you love them and how much you care about them because life's short. And, and just enjoy that day together. I know I will. I got got my baby here. Aww, and, thanks, baby. and with that being said, we're going to end it like we always end it. And of course, you don't know what that is, but we're fixing to show you. Hey, we always, always live out.